In this video, we will going to prove that the angle PTQ is equal to 2 times of the angle OPQ, where TP and TQ are given as the tangent to the circle centered at O. This particular problem is appeared in the year 2020, section B, and 2 is a 2 mark problem, so it's not a big one. Let's go ahead and solve the problem. So here, TP and TQ are the two tangents and what we have proved, PTQ and OPQ are in the ratio 1 is to 2. So first we consider that the angle OPQ is theta and PTQ is alpha. So let's mark these two angles appropriately in the given figure. Let's go ahead. So here we mark that as the angle OPQ as theta and the angle PTQ as alpha. So generally if we consider with theta, alpha, x, y, z like that, right, the calculation became little easier. So it's better to go ahead in this approach. Let's go ahead. So here we have to prove that PTQ is equal to two times of the angle OPQ. So therefore we need to prove that alpha is equal to 2 times of theta. That's it. Let's go ahead. So now here TP is the tangent at the point P and OP is the radius. So we know that for any tangent is always perpendicular to the radius and vice versa. So therefore the angle uh, OPT is equal to 90 degree. That's it. Let's go ahead. Now as the angle OPT is 90 degree, so therefore from the figure we can say that the angle OPT is actually equal to the angle TPQ and the summation of OPQ. Now here these two must be equal to 90 degree. Now what is given here? It is given that the angle or we will assume that the angle OPQ is theta. So therefore the angle TPQ is 90 minus theta. Let's mark that in the corresponding figure. That's it. Now see that we also know that that if we draw two tangent TP and TQ from an external point T, so the tangent must be equal. So therefore TP and TQ will be equal in length. So as TP and TQ are equal, so therefore the triangle TPQ is an isosceles triangle. And we know that for an isosceles triangle, obviously the base angles must be equal. So therefore, the angle TPQ and the angle TQP must be equal to each other and they are equal to 90 minus theta. So let's mark that. So now see that for the triangle TPQ, we know all the angles. So therefore, we can apply the angle sum property. So if I apply the angle sum property, so therefore sum of all the angles are equal to 180 degree. Hence, angle alpha plus 90 minus theta 2 times will be equal to 180. So now here let's calculate the basic arithmetic. What we'll get? Alpha plus 180 minus 2 theta is again became 180. 180 are cancelled from both sides. Hence, alpha is equal to 2 theta. And see that that's our aim to prove it. So therefore, our result is proven. And that's it. Hope you understood the problem.